In the picture we see, this has taken place before the experiment, before any salt has been added. We can observe that the cell has a wall around each cell and a membrane. This is responsible for protecting and supplying nutrients to the cell. We can also observe a cytoplasm. This is a gelatinous substance that is filling the cell and allows flow. We can also see chloroplasts, which are small gamete, gametes that help in the product of photosynthesis, which is how plants reproduce. In the image viewable, this is after the experiment has taken place and salt has been added. We can still observe cell parts such as a cell wall membrane, chloroplasts, and cytoplasms. However, the cytoplasms are more lucid and have more movement. The clear spots that we see within this are the water moving throughout the membrane. This is known as osmosis. It is creating a balance within the cell of water and salt. The water is moving outwards of the cell, and that is why we can see the lucid movement.